that. Now, moving on, InsurTech startup on Surety today announced that it has raised $24 million in a Series B funding round led by International Finance Corporation. The round also saw participation from its existing investors, including Nexus Venture Partners and others. The company proposes to use these funds to drive growth, forge partnerships, and a portion of this will also be allocated towards the company's efforts to chart its path to profitability. Joining me now to talk about this is on Surety's co-founder and CEO, Yogesh Agarwal. Yogesh, welcome to Startup Street and thank you very much for your time here. If you could start by telling us about this funding, your Series A was about $15, $16 million and now this additional $24 million. Uh, what's the plan? What's the company valued at now? The valuation still remains undisclosed at this particular point of time, but uh, uh, from the last valuation to this particular valuation, we got a uh, uh, reasonable uptake from a price in the valuation. Okay, uh, so it was uh, an uptake from the previous round, but you know, before we get into more details of the funding for our viewers, if you could give us a sense of how your subscription-based model works and what kind of revenues you're currently generating. So uh, basically, in terms of our product, uh, our product is a unique uh, India first uh, in kind of a healthcare membership, which we provide this particular subscription to a lot of small businesses, small and medium sized businesses, which they subscribe for their employees and family members. Within this membership, uh, healthcare membership, they get uh, different health benefits like health insurance, accidental insurance, along with uh, different wellness uh, benefits like teleconsultations, health checkups. So in put together, the membership becomes a very comprehensive uh, benefit for the employees and their family members. Uh, in terms of our revenue, uh, we almost crossed uh, more than 100 crore in this particular financial year and are growing at a reasonable pace as per our business plan. Okay, about 100 crores of revenue already clocked in. Uh, you know, so tell us about this $24 million that you've just raised. Uh, you want to facilitate an unparalleled claims experience. You want to provide coverage to 5 million lives by 2026. How do you plan to go about this? How will you use these funds? So most of this funding we will be investing uh, in order to develop our technology where uh, in this particular technology product, what we are trying to develop with our insurance partners as well. We have in the overall objective of the technology is that how can we actually make the claim experience of our customers more and more smoother? How can we use cutting edge technology and AI to make sure that the current turnaround time for the claim experience can be reduced on significantly and can be an industry first uh, uh, claim uh, experience for our members. This will be most of this will be the prime objective of this particular funding that how can we enhance our technology. Uh, then apart from that, we will be consuming this particular fund to actually reach to more number of SMEs so that by 2025, we can reach to more than 50,000 SMEs and touch base more than 5 million members on our platform. You know, Yogesh, uh, a portion of this funding, your press statement said, will also be used towards your efforts to chart your path to profitability. If you could tell us what your current bottom line is at and how long before you break even? So uh, at this particular point of time, we are unit economics positive. So from day one, we were trying to build business more fundamentally. Uh, so you are, we are unit economics positive, but uh, technology uh, keeps on be becoming one of the elements where we are actually investing a lot of capital expenditure. So so that is where uh, might be on the bottom line or on the pad, which is we might not be profitable at this stage. But over the next two years, as we expand our portfolio, expand our businesses, this uh, fixed overheads or fixed cost, what we are investing out in order to build the technology, it will start generating uh, more returns and that will be help us to go into the path to profitability over the next two years. You know, you said you look at small businesses, MSMEs, contractual workforce, startups, Give us a sense of where insurance penetration is at in that subset. It's low overall for the country overall, of course. But what is the headroom for growth for onshorety? Because the pie, of course, is large, but there are plenty of competitive players in this space as well. So uh, 
uh, over here, if I will just give you some numbers, only 5% of the SME is currently penetrated with the insurance product. So there's a 95% under penetration in the market. We always talk about insurance as an always an under penetrated product. But when we look very deeply at through a magnifying lens, it's always the SME, which is the most highly under penetrated sector. And that's why we keep on building our product stack, tech stack in, in order to develop and penetrate deeper into this under, un, unserved and underpenetrated market. Yogesh, thanks very much for joining us on CNBC TV 18 and sharing your thoughts. On that note, let's move.